Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with the RSS viewer web part. I'm going to go in and edit my page here, remove the get started thing, and instead I want to put a RSS feed on here. Most likely you have an RSS feed in mind already. If you come to this page, most news sites have an RSS feed. You find the RSS viewer under content rollup. An RSS feed is just an XML file, so it's rather easy to put one together also. Say that you have a production system that's producing something and you want to show that on um, your SharePoint page. Integrating an RSS viewer is a beautiful way of doing it. I'm going to show you the Kalmstrom.com blog, which is of course at blogkalmstrom.com. And to subscribe to those, you go into this, the Atom feed and then just copy that URL and then go in here, open the tool pane and then I just paste the RSS feed URL there. I can just do that so that it updates every five minutes and how many items should be in the feed. Let's do that, uh, put that to 15. I don't want it to say RSS viewer so I'm gonna change the Chrome type to none also. I think that's about it. I'm gonna apply and just check if that looks reasonable, and it does indeed. It's showing me the Kalmstrom.com blog. If I save, you see it's pointing out my latest posts here. And as you see, if I click on one of those, I get a little preview of this, and I can read more. So I think that's kind of neat, and it's a very nice little integration project that you can do in a couple of minutes if you already have an RSS feed, or if you have a new site that you want to keep track of. That concludes my demo on using the RSS viewer web part. Thank you for watching.